Hi friends, it's Lisa Hetrick, illustrator for Gina K Designs, and I'm so grateful you could join me today. I am super excited to share a brand new stamp set with you today. Um, it's my new release with Gina K Designs called Count It All Joy. Count It All Joy, and I'm super excited. I've got a lot to share with you today. Here is the stamp set, and you can see that mine is already well-loved, and yeah, it's super fun, and there is a charcuterie board in this stamp set, um, and I thought it would be fun to create charcuterie boards of flowers. How fun is that? Super whimsical. Okay, so let's take a look at the stamp set. I've got everything stamped out here so we can walk through each image and I can tell you a little bit about it. So let's start with the cutting board or charcuterie board. So we've got the outline uh, image of the cutting board here. And when you pair that with the wood grain, you can put the two together and get that whole full effect of the wooden board. So super fun. I've got leaves and greenery, just like all of my stamp sets. I have some whimsical and wonky leaves and greenery in here. I've got this really fun heart that half of the heart is made up of the leafery, which makes it kind of whimsical and fun and a little bit different, a little twist on the heart image. And let's talk a little bit about the big honkin floral. So I've got this beautiful peony, peony like floral here and I've left the centers of the floral out. So I've got two center stamp elements, one that's more of a solid and one that has some spikes kind of coming out of it so that you can create two different kinds of flowers here. I've got two sentiments here, a joyful heart is good medicine and count it all and joy. So you could use joy by itself, or you could put the two together to make a complete sentiment, which makes it super whimsical and kind of fun and versatile. Okay, so let's dive in and take a look at the inspiration. Here is a card where I've just kind of done this big splash with the florals, the leaves and the greenery and the count it all joy. I also use the heart elements from Beth's brand new uh, stamp set that's coming out today as well. And I just love how this spray of flowers kind of takes up the whole entire card almost and just is just happy and joyful. Here is another fun card using that heart element, but using it as a repeat pattern to make a really simple, clean card, add a few embellishments and a really great sentiment. You're off and running. Love this card. Okay, so here's that floral spray again, but I've added the board into the design. And this is what I had, had intended when I created this stamp set, this kind of look of a charcuterie board, but with flowers. And it just makes it kind of super fun. Uh, I love this. This is kind of a busy card, but it's so full of joy. I've got that floral spray going in some really bright, bright colors, but I also used the main leafery image and created a pattern in the background, which makes it kind of fun. I had some fun with layering with this one. I used the heart, but I also used the board, the wood grain in the board with a tone on tone to create that background. Then some kind of circle, circular elements here. And I've got that heart. It's just kind of a different little bit of a layout. It's just kind of whimsical and fun. And couldn't do a card without doing some watercolor. Of course, I wanted to watercolor this, that big honking flower, keep it super simple. And I use the have faith sentiment from um, Beth's stamp set. I just love that stamp set. It's got a lot of positivity in it and it pairs so well with everything, everything. Here is a fun way to use that flower stamp and create a really whimsical patterned background. Just love doing that with my stamps. Okay, as always, I have a free card idea download sheet and I have eight 
card ideas for the Count It All Joy stamp set. You can grab this free download. The link is in the description. I have this also on my blog. You can go to indigojadeart.com slash craft your joy, and you can get all of my free downloads from my past stamp sets as well. I hope you enjoyed today's inspiration and stamp set reveal. I will be sharing more card tutorials over the next few weeks using this set to help inspire you. All of the links for this new release can be found below in the description. I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. And I'm sharing more card and watercolor tutorial videos for your inspiration right here. So come on in and take a peek at my tutorials. I have a lot to share and I'll see you next time.